Okay. Shalom to the um first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And shalom to the Akim that's pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. And with all faith and righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, man. Just, you know, here again, this message to Israel, the elect at that. Just basically just want to just get into spiritual powers really much. Because we know that America is on its last leg. We've seen prophecy being fulfilled on a rapid like pace. And like I said, Trump is really heating up everything with the UN. He's a that beast fighting against that whore, you know, feeling that prophecy. And the internet about to get, you know, banned and regulated on certain things you can't watch. You gotta pay for certain things and everything like that. But you know, it's just everything like basically all hell breaking loose. And the men, Abarat Bazaar, we be those men to get the spiritual powers, man. Um, go ahead with the first scriptures. Oh, uh, this is uh, Isaiah on uh, forty, chapter forty, verse on um, twenty-seven. Why says thou, O Jacob, speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord; my judgment is passed over from my power. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Verse 29. He gave power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increased strength. See right there, man. Like, it's a lot of brothers out here that don't have the, you know, the physical strength. But a hey, that spiritual strength is, you know, beyond this world, man. It's a lot of brothers. And, you know, got a lot of faith. And, you know, in that day, you know, they get the spiritual powers, man. They, they, they're they not going to faint, not going to get weary. They're going to be strong, man, like Cain David. Um, okay. Keep reading. Um, verse 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. But, I mean, the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Okay. And with the um, the youth that shall be, you know, faint and be weary. It has to be talking about the two thirds. You know, basically people that don't believe in the Lord and don't believe in his second coming. America being destroyed or anything, you know, something like that. You know, but to the the, the, the saints, which are the elect that wait on the Lord. And patiently being, you know, humble and being diligent as much as they can, you know, they're going to receive power. And the Lord really going to give them the upper hand to do whatever they can do. And they're not going to faint and get weary. And when they say mount up with wings as eagles, you know, it basically means to fly. And it's, it's going to be brothers going to be having all types of spiritual powers, whatever comes to their mind. And it's going to be, you know, different brothers got different minds, you know, on what to think of about spiritual powers and stuff like that. And, you know, when they say walk and not faint, you're not going to be tired, you're not going to be weak. You're going to be strong as we're really supposed to be. Yasha Allah, he prince of God. That's that's a strong title within itself. And, kind of, and the reason why. Our people on such a low level, you know, uh, right now because of the curses, man. And, you know, you how about from y'all shot, they curse us, you know, the nation of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans for for going against his commandments, man. Huh. And not believing on you know, his son, you how shot, man. You know, you know, y'all don't believe that y'all the, the true biblical Israelites. Y'all th- want to call yourself black or Latino or. Uh, Native American or Mexican or whatever, man. Huh. But when y'all do that, man, y'all taking the covering uh, of Satan and not the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So that's why, you know, in this lower state, man, because the Lord punish us. But in these last days, man, the elect, the one that return unto Yahweh Shah, you know, he going to give this man that power to fight against the enemy, man. And you enemies are like the, the uh, you, you um, foreign troops, you win troops. You know, you martial law troops, you know, FEMA camp, FEMA, FEMA troops, and, and, our, and our enemies, man, you average um, crackers, man. 
that you know they're going to try to come against the men of the Lord in this in this um race wars and stuff, man. Kind. The reason we became cursed as a whole nation because mainly the two thirds with following um, just idols, man, just idol worshiping, idolatry, and everything like that. And I got uh, I got a scripture. You see that um. Um, this is on uh, Zechariah 12, verse, verse 7. The Lord also shall say the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. And in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the uh -huh. house of David shall be as a power and the angel of the Lord before them. And just like I say, man, spiritual powers, man, just that's how you know not to, you know, be boasting. You know, every tribe is important, but the Lord do have favor. Like he has favor and he's dealing with Judah because our Lord Yahweh Shai came from the bloodline of Judah. So that lets you know then and there that Judah is, you know, plays a big role. That's that's, you know, basically like the leader of Israel, even though all Israel's are leader within themselves. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, you know, it's what the Lord is saying, man. We can't we can't go against what the Lord said. The Lord say Judah, Judah, just like he was to say Ephraim, because Ephraim is the head of the northern kingdom. Like just like he was to say Manasseh or Asher. Yeah, so, you know, because the, the whole 12 tribes, you know, you know, the Judah, the leader, you know, the main tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, but he's going to bring all us together, man, just like in the days of, uh, of David, man. Because when you had the uh, army of David, or, the, you know, the house of David, it represented the 12 tribes, man. Not like some of these Israelite, Israelite groups out here saying that the house of David just represent Judah or, or Benjamin and Levi. No, nah, man, that, that the house of David represent the elect, man. From Judah on down to Issachar, man. Cause when you look into David army, man, he had a uh, the army. The army he had, man, he had all nations, or uh, the other uh, 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 the elect that was back then. Cause that was the house of David represent the elect. You know, they they also consider you know the northern kingdom too, man, not just the southern kingdom. Um, you can. Oh, what are you about to get? Um, I I read on um, Amos nine and and eleven. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the branches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as the days are old. So basically like how, you know, we've gone into when the Lord raised up the house of David, man. He's going to raise up the, the elect, man, 144,000 and the one third, man. Not just the the Negroes, man. He's going to raise up you know, the Latinos and the Native Americans also, man. That's right. Even the, the confused faces that believe in this truth, man. The Lord going to. Give them that power also, man, because they still Israelites on their father's side. Come on. One thing they got to do is believe in Yahweh. <coughs> and the Lord going to bless them with that power, you know, and bless them with, you know, salvation, man. Um, you can get Zechariah 10, verse 5 right quick. Zechariah 10, verse 5. And they shall be as mighty men which... Tread down their enemies in the merry of, merry of the streets in the battle. And they shall fight because the Lord is with them. And riders on horses shall be confounded. Yeah, man. Just basically, I mean, it, it's it's basically about the elect that's going to have, you know, get the spiritual powers. But also the elect going to be getting help from the angels. That's also, you know, spiritual power within itself because it's taking a higher, you know, a higher authority. The um send the angels down to protect his men, and basically in that day gonna be mighty like mighty men, and just basically destroying everything. You know, Abarat Dazah, we be those men and the other brothers across the world that really, you know, have the faith, you know, in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah and keeping this, you know, doing this work and keeping his words, statutes and commandments to the best of their abilities. God, I got a um precept. This is uh, Luke 24, verse um, 49. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endured with power from on high. 
So like the um, brother Miss Ann, man, you know, brothers that wait, you know, the Lord also tell us, you know, we got to wait upon him till he rises up against the prey, man. Kind. So when the Lord, you know, you know, send, send that power from on high, talking about sending that spiritual power, man. Because, you know, you're, you know, you're pounding in, Glenn, you know, that where your spirit dwell at, man. You know, even though your people like to walk, you know, in the flesh, but all actuality, man, the the, the, uh, the mind control the body, man. So when the Lord unleash that, that power in our spirit, man, he will give us that, that energy from on high so we can have it in our, you know, our spiritual mind. Then they're going to physically come, you know, through our body, man. That all the Lord said we're going to be able to, you know, fly, you know, run, you know, and, and, and not get weary, man, not get tired, man. Because we're going to have that ultimate, you know, that spirit on us to, you know, to overcome our enemy and, over, and overcome his flesh. And, um, you know, you have to be patient and wait on that, man. It, it'd be a whole lot beautiful, more beautiful. If you, you know, take your enemies down with, you know, with spiritual powers, waiting on the Lord, you did all you can do. And, you know, you did all you can do. And the Lord bless you with the spiritual powers to execute the judgment on people that did you wrong. Your bosses that gave you a hard time. The damn even these slut ass women that did you wrong. The, the you know, so-called homeboys in the world that did you wrong. Just just to execute judgment. Yeah, I can, I can, um You can see like all those them action movies. I remember I'm online reading about um the, the next movies that about to come out. Man, they say 2018 supposed to be the year of a whole bunch of superhero movies about to come out. And that just you know brothers that's in the spirit. Man, we already know that he saw you know he knew about he know about the spiritual power that he trying so much to trying to get it on the left hand side through his technology. Man, that way they got these you know super soldiers programs. You know, you got these different types of um, weaponry that they got, you know, trying to, you know, uh, have that super spiritual power. They got all type of, you know, medicine and, you know, lethal injection that can, you know, boost boost their immune system and give them super strength. But the Lord ain't going to have to do that with us, man. The Lord going to actually give us that, like I said, that spiritual power from on high, you know, turn our spirit up, man, to be able to fight against our enemy because, when you look into these armies, man, like I said, they got all type of different technology and weaponry Con. that can destroy, you know, any damn, you know, normal man in a in a second, man. But we don't got the, the body, the physical body to stand up against no bullets on tank, a tank or Con. jets. You know, we're going to have to have that super script from on high, man, to fight against our enemies, man. And this is, um, this is Michael for, I'm going to start off at, um, let me see, Michael 4, 4, I want to start at, I start off at 7, no, I start off at 13, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong one, Michael 4 and 13, arise and thrust, O daughter of Zion, and Zion represent you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native America, the children of Israel, Time. for I will make thy horn iron, and I will make thy hoof brass, and when you look into the word iron, man, represent power, I mean, when we were looking to the word horn, represent power, man. So the Lord said, you know, he's going to make us, you know, strong as iron, man. You know, iron, one of the tough metals, toughest metals, you know, out there in the world, man. Huh. And I will make our hoof brass. So, and brass also another tough metal too, man. Huh. And our hoof means mean your feet, man. So from, from our, from our head to our feet, man, we're going to be, you know, mighty, man. We're going to be like, be like Superman. You know, they, when they would shoot Superman with a with a bullet or something, you know, the bullet you know bounce off of him, or when they, when a tank or uh, or uh, uh, car or train run into him, the the tank or the car fold fold up against him, man. That what type of body we gonna have, man? That that That's right. man of steel, like the man of steel, <coughs> you know, where that scripture going into, man. When he said he gonna uh -huh. make out you know, horn iron and our hoof brass, con, you know. And I will make thy hoof brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people. And I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, and they substitute unto the Lord of the whole earth. So the Lord said, when he raises this man up, man, we're going to beat, beat many people like the powder, man. Mainly you um, you heathens, man. Starting off with you Edomites, you so-called white people. Y'all the top enemy. And the Lord said, he's going to consecrate their whole gain. We're going to take everything that y'all got, man, because... 
to be real, man, everything belonged to the nation of Israel anyway. Because before we went down, man, we had all these riches and these, you know, vast, you know, kingdoms that we had, you know, material things and lands that we had. But y'all took it from us when we, when the Lord um, put y'all over, put y'all over us, man. Come. And um, I'll go to um, Michael five and seven. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as a dew from the Lord, and as the showers upon the grass that tarry, not for man, nor waited for the sons of man. So the Lord said, man, the nation of Israel, man, uh, mainly the elect, man, we're going to be on, on y'all nation like dew on the grass, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you see that dew on the grass, it be, you know, it be all over the ground, and the whole ground is covered with, with moss and, you know, with, you know, water. That's how we're going to be, man. You know, and, and like the rain. And on uh, and the remnant of Jacob, and the remnant represent the remnant of Jacob represent the elect. Kind. Shall be among the Gentiles, and the Gentiles in that statement is you heathens, man. In the midst of many people as a lion from the beasts of the forest, as a young a lion, a young lion among the flocks of the sheep. And you already know you put a sheep inside a a, a flock of sheep. With a, young with, with a young lion, man, or a lion, man, you already know who gonna win that battle, man. Come you know, cause a lamb, you know, or a sheep, man, they humble, man. They ain't got no type of defense to, to you know, the um fight, fight back, man, to defend themselves, man. The lion got all the power to, you know, to rip them sheep up, man, or them lambs up. But you know, that how the Lord comparing us, man. He gonna juice us up, man. He gonna turn us up to the point that we gonna be like lions, and y'all people out here gonna be like like sheep, man. Y'all gonna be defenseless. Come. And uh, who if he go through both traded down and tear pieces and none can deliver. Mm. Hey, a lot of destruction and death are coming with, you know, with spiritual powers. And I got a precept. This is Daniel chapter seven, verse 18. But the saints, which are the elect, but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So basically, man, all this hell and this captivity we going through is for a good purpose, man. It's just all you got to do is wait on the Lord, be patient, have faith in the Lord. He's not going to let us down. He never has let us down. He never will. And by the scriptures saying like the, the saints of the most High is going to take the kingdom. So that means a kingdom has to be thrown down. And that's the so-called white man's kingdom known as. America, Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon. The Lord, the Lord said we're gonna take it by force, man. We're gonna take the kingdom because after America be destroyed, man, we're gonna go over there. We can maybe the Lord come and deliver us from out of this hell. Lord when we we pray we part of that number. Kind. He deliver his elect from the from the you know the shores of America right before the nukes touch down. You know, after that, we're gonna come back down out of them chairs. That's and right. then we are gonna go around on, uh, on uh, uh, putting you other nations in slavery, man, captivity, yep. man. And we are gonna start off with you elites, man. You so called Illuminati ones, man. You Rothschilds and Rockefellers. You super rich bankers, man. Y'all know y'all time is you know about to be up, and ain't no way y'all can defeat the Lord. The Lord just got to set in y'all mind, thinking that y'all gonna overcome him. But the scriptures already stated that the Lord, you know, Lord of Lord, the Kings of Kings, man. And he gonna overcome the beast. Which means you, you NATO, you know, you NATO European system and the whole world, man. So when the Lord come back and give us that power, man, that will be going to take the kingdom. I mean, we're going to take all the other kingdoms and we're going to be on top. Huh. Um, I got a, another precept. This is um, Jeremiah 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all, former of all things. And Israel... It's the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou out my battle axe and weapons of war. The Lord, the Lord using Israel, the elect of Israel. Got to, you know, stress that out. The elect of Israel. He, he's saying thou are my battle axe and weapons of war. So, hey, man, like I say, just, you know, just stay spiritual. Break down this place. The stronghold, break down the strongholds by using the scriptures, man. Stay spiritual and faithful unto death as as the scriptures say man because we do not have but so long in this place called america everything is crumbling whether people believe it or not you can feel tension in the air like i said trump is really 
doing a hell of a good job pissing off these other nations. He's doing a hell of a good job. And the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is putting that spirit on them, on him to fucking piss off them other nations. And it's beautiful that we're seeing it manifest and to boost our faith even more. And hell, even them non-believers, they can, you know, believe then and there. It, 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 it's up to the Lord if they're going to be delivered or destroyed. And again, if they, you know, if they ain't part of the elect, they ain't going to you know, be delivered. And, uh, and <coughs> how the brother be saying, first, you know, you got to put on the, put on this canon with the, you know, with the, the, the word of the Lord, man. Put on the stronghold. But soon, you know, like I say, how we be getting the spirit of power, sooner or later, the Lord is going to use his men also to, to, to destroy okay. kingdoms, man. And man. I'm keep, I keep reading on. And, uh, and... Verse, I'm going to start back at verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nation, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Come. And so America is one of them kingdoms, man. And the nations also, man. So we, any of you other, you heathen nations, man, we're going to destroy y'all, man. When the Lord gives this man that power, he said he's going to destroy kingdoms also. So America is going to be destroyed, you know, by the way, of, uh, by his man, you know, getting that spirit of power. And wherever, wherever other part of the world that they look at, you know, the Lord raise them up with that power, man. They could be over there in China, you know, Russia. You know, we're going to conquer all these nations and destroy all these kingdoms, man. That's right. And, and bring down they, they, they idols and all that and put up, you know, our kingdom and put up our law, statute, commandments so that they got to go by. Come on. Um, um, but with thee will I break in pieces the nation, and with thee will I destroy Canaan. Verse 21, and with thee I will break in pieces the horse and his riders, and with thee will I break in pieces the chair and his riders. And basically all those, like, all those, like, words that he's basically saying, it's just basically just breaking it down, like, the military, like, the tanks, mm -hmm. the, um, the super soldier suits, that, that gonna get taken down, the, the missiles. The uh, the heavy machine gun artillery, any anything that you Edomites think you can like like prosper or do good or whatever, it's gonna come to naught. Cause like I said, at the end of the day, this is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's movie, and they're gonna they're gonna let Israel win like how we're supposed to win. Yeah, it's kind. Con. And the scripture also say that uh, no weapon formed against these shall prosper. So Con. any weapon that you so called, you know, white people, man. You, you know, you, your armies or your militaries that that y'all either might got so any other nation that got weaponry, man, ain't not gonna, you know, do nothing against the elect, man. Uh -huh. The Lord gonna have that that hedge over them, and you know, and protect them from them that that dip, that you know, them different type of weaponry that y'all got. And Israel weapon is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. It is different accounts in the scriptures, and it's just simple as that, man. Uh, you, uh, I'll finish it on. With thee also will I break in pieces men and women. Mm -hmm. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. Kind. And with thee I will break in pieces the young man and the maid. That means the Lord, at the end of the day, the Lord don't give a fuck who you is, how old you is, woman, man, a little baby. If you wicked, man, hey, the Lord is going to kill you. Like, just, it's just simple. It, it's not hard. It's it. I, I guess to some people it's a harsh reality, but other than that, it's not hard. Like it's a lot of people out here that that need to die. Like honest to truth. And kind of and the reason why you know people then get emotional because they really don't have no mind of y'all bashing y'all shot dealing with. Them. They don't know that the reason why most majority of these people die in the mass you know mass death in the way that they die. They don't understand that the Lord did that to judge them for their wickedness. Kind. See, but brothers, you know we got the understanding that the reason why we know why the most high you know destroy you know women and children and men because man of their wickedness man God. you know because the lord said if you keep the commandments you know you shall live man so you know if you're not having the faith in your how about you y'all shy and you ain't keeping this law statute commandment man you're gonna die man that's right because the, the ways of the, the law statute commandment <clears throat> and your shy is the the way to everlasting life life uh, i got a uh, quick precept on what you've been saying earlier this is um jeremiah 16 chapter 16 verse 16 Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and they shall fish them. And that, you know, that fishing, basically that, that grace period, man, like, you know, uh, the elect of Israel really coming in. You know, all hell didn't break loose yet. The internet still going as we speak. You know, even though 
it's only a limited of time before that shit, you know, really get dealt with and the famine of the word gonna hit. But right now, you know, the elect, I can't, you know, say it to everybody that everybody's not gonna make, you know, get it or make it. But the elect should take heed to what the other Akim is saying across the world and what's going on across the world. Mm -hmm. Prophecy is really happening. Well, you got the prophets out there. Con. You know, the highways and byways. The eyes say represent the, the fishes. Con. Saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill. And basically, you know, mountains, you know, look like like rulerships or government, mm -hmm. like anything mm -hmm. like to do with the government, really, to the big governments, which is the mountains. And the hills are the like little small governments and stuff like that. And also out of the holes of the rocks, you know, little um, small governments and stuff. So like them, them hunters, you know, really are those fishes, which are the elect. They just later on going to turn into hunters in due season. Because right now they're still, you know, fishing, still taking that little time to fish. But hey, once that hunting season come, ain't no turning back, man. The kind of, yeah, the hunters representing, like the brother is saying, the, the late man of Israel. That's preaching his word, mm -hmm. man. And right. Also, also represent them, the angels of the Most High. Kind. Okay, hey, can't forget about them because they, they're going to show their faces in that day. They, hey, it's, it, it's going to be so, uh, it's going to be so crazy. People ain't going to believe it, but it's going to be reality. Like, angels are real. Chariots are real. Yeah, and there ain't no so called white people either. Hell no, no white babies or no green looking creatures or you know monsters. No, they dark skinned men. Con probably about like man, probably about about at least probably ten to thirteen feet, man. You know, you know people say that you know we got people out here that give different accounts. You know, you even got some video you might come across that got an angel like that. That that last video, not that recently, about about a couple of months ago, when the man said he caught the angel over there in Arizona. And the angel had like, and, and, and had wings, he meant like almost like the size of his trailer. So that trailer had to be about like what, 15 feet off the ground, man. So he, he said he didn't know what it was. He said he didn't know if it was a demon or an angel, but angels and demons really the same thing. Because huh. Demons are just angels on the left hand side and angels are the, um, the angels on the right hand side. The demons, you know, they, they, they basically do the, the judgment for, mm -hmm. for wickedness, so to speak. But at the end of the day, they still answer to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, both of them. Um, which precepts are we going to get? Now? I'll get on. Um, this is Isaiah 59 and um, 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah from the West. And there we at, man. We're on the Western Hemisphere, man. You know, saying so the Lord say you gonna fear the name, you know, from the West, cause over here, you know, mainly in America, man, that what, you know, we learn the name of, you know, from our apostles and elders, you know, uh, a great millstone, man, that what we learn the name from, man, over here in America, man, we didn't learn the name from, you know, from Jerusalem, over there where the Israelis at, or Africa, or, or, or China, or Russia, or Europe, you know, we got the name right here from America, man, on the Western Hemisphere, man. And if, you know, from my, like I say, from my apostles and elders, and from their apostles, Come. you know, and their elders, man. And the name of the Lord is Yahweh, who the world really called God, and His Son name is Yahweh Shah, who the world really called Jesus Christ. So the Lord said, "That so shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah from the west, and His glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standards against him." And we go on Salak, Salak. Uh, and that enemy, you know, is a hey, them um like UN troops, martial law. Hell, they already got UN troops in Chicago, even though they should have been took care of Chicago. But hey, man, they showing you like, hey, World War Three is here. Civil war, civil unrest, the any type of war is coming to America, man. Like the shit is done. All hell is about to break loose. You can, you can, you can feel it, man. You can see it. The UN mm -hmm. troops in Chicago. I know them niggas ain't taking that shit lightly. Lightly. I know, because I'm most I'm gonna put the spirit on them UN troops. Kind. And if it get down to that point, 
but eventually going to get down to the point that the mm-hmm. UN troops going to come against you know Israel and these other heathen nations you know heathen nation that's in America because we already rent that law going to have it like that but it's going to come upon the time when the Lord going to put the spirit on these you know foreign troops to come against Israel man and the most I'm going to put the put the spirit on you Israelites to fight back Kind. Even the majority of y'all gonna lose, but if you ain't, you know, with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim man, you That's ain't right. gonna be delivered, man. You gonna get That's caught right. up in it, and you know, be part of that slaughter. Um, when the enemy should come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord should lift up a standard against him. But if man, you know, the, or the Lord, man, when the enemy come rolling up on on up, man, he gonna lift up that spirit against the enemy, man. And that spirit is talking about the spiritual power, man. You know the uh and. He gonna lift up that standard, and that standard mean that you know the flee, or uh, or put the or put the flight, man. So you know you gonna have these other nations, you know, with the scripture say on um, I think that in Joshua. Yeah, I'm about to get that precept in a minute. Joshua 23 and 10. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 23. Verse 10. Verse 10. One man of you shall chase a thousand. Hey, that right there itself, spiritual powers, man. Because if one man chase a thousand men, that then that's great power behind that man. For the for the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, your power. He it is that fighteth for you as he hath promised you. Hey Amen. At the end of the day, man, the Lord is for is he's for Israel, mainly for the elect right now. But man, he fight for you, man. That's how you know that spiritual powers. Like he's gonna in that day, all hell break loose and everything like that. He's gonna give those certain men spiritual powers. To protect themselves and to protect their loved ones and family, they eat and the drink. Cause in that day, it's gonna be a great famine. You're gonna need spiritual powers in order to eat and drink in that day. And I'm gonna get a precept for that. Cause I say, man, is death, destruction, pestilence, and famine is coming to America. That that's that's a lot. Like especially with the famine and the pestilence and the, hell, the destruction in general. It's all coming to America. And um, I'm going to get that precept. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, power. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. And them servants, man, the, the, the men that really, you know, serve Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and righteousness and sincerity to, you know, best of their ability, you know, do the work. To the best of their ability. And just, man, and you know, just having faith in the Lord, man. Believing in the Lord, Yahweh Shah. And believing in Yahweh and thanking Yahweh for Yahweh Shah. Um, continuing on. Um, I'll just read it back up. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, power. Behold, my servant shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. And ye, that ye is that two thirds. You know, Israel. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. Just like, you know, right now, these two thirds, they rejoicing right now. Because they think they, you know, they living it up and they making it in America. And we suffering because... We know this shit about to fall. Our people ain't going to wake up. Stuff like that. And it's just vexation to us that this place still going on. And, you know, in that day, it's going to be a, a switch around. Hopefully, Abarat Bazaar, you can't stress that enough, that me and this brother and the other Akim that believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, with all righteousness and sincerity, make it, man. Like, for real. Spiritual powers. Hell, even being armed. Um, is a martyr dying for the Lord. Ain't nothing. Don't don't be ashamed or don't be upset if you have to get your head in the guillotine. Don't be mad. Don't be sad or anything because the Lord died for us. 
So what, what what is that to get your head cut off? To get shot the fuck down? It, yeah, it may hurt for that little second, but man, you're doing it for a greater reason. You're doing it for the Lord, man. The Lord did it for you, so you should like really have no problem doing it for the Lord. And they call you had different all uh, type of different account, you know, in the scriptures saying how they how the prophets were slain, you know, a uh, majority of the time. We know prophets coming back, man. Majority, you know. Majority of us, man, in our past life, we was, you know, murdered for, you know, pre preaching the word of the Lord. Might look how they, again. yeah, con, look how they did the disciples, man. They, at the end of their ministry, man, when they, at the end of their work, man, they, you know, they, they, they murder most of the disciples, man. You know, they hung them, you know, as the scripture say, they, they hung most of them, and they saw them in half. I think they stoned um, some, stone them. Yeah, so, you know. But this time, you know, it'll be the Lord will, man. We know, we know it's going to be martyrs, but majority of the prophets, you know, the Lord said he's going to oh, raise man. them up, man. He said he's going to, you know, test not his anointed and do his prophets no harm, man. That's right. You know, because this is going to be the last go around, man. See, we back then, you know, the prophets had to die because they had to come back, in, you know, in the next life to preach the word again. You know, but this time, when they, you know, when they coming back, man, the Lord going to have it fit that they, they ain't going to be, you know, taste of death. Yeah, taste of Come. death. If you know if the, if the Lord got it set like that, man. That's but right. you know, you and the man of the truth, man. You you know, we know death is like death, you know. But you know, uh, but we also, but we got we got to have confidence, you know, oh, yeah. that we be delivered from from death, man. Come. You know, but you know, but when you come into the truth, man, you do got to think about think about you know, uh, like being a martyr, man. You have to, you know, because you know, because that's how things go, man. But and, and like on top of that, like. I always say, man, if you're a martyr, man, you're going to be one of the first ones that going to be risen up with Yahweh Shah, you know, when he make his second coming, man. Yeah, and to be real, that show humbleness and humility, especially you dying for a good purpose, man. Um, want me to get that wisdom of Solomon right quick? Or which one you want? Um, what wisdom of Solomon you about to get? The one you've been talking Oh, you got more? I'm gonna go get this one back. Let me see. Um, I'll go ahead and get yours. And I'll read that. This is um. Uh, this is John, fourteen, verse oh, twelve. Verily, okay. verily, I say unto you, and the word verily <clears throat> means truly, man. So in the Lord, Yahweh Shah, man, he don't lie, man. That's right. And anything he say, man, gonna be truthful, and they gonna stand, man. Con. And they gonna turn to him void, like he say, man. He gonna go out and accomplish what he sent it, man. So he said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believed on me. The works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto my father. And hey man, the Lord that that was a, a humble man. I know, you know, we strive to be perfect, but we know at the end of the day we're not perfect. We know that we're gonna fuck up a lot. We know that. And we're not gonna be as close to the Lord. Hell, even hell, even probably in the king, we, we still ain't gonna be, you know, as on that level to the Lord, because you know we was sinning and we sinned. And he didn't want redeemed us. Like, kind of, you gonna be, we gonna be like on a certain level, but not. Like, not to you the already Lord. know the Lord is uh, our Lord. Lord. Yeah, it's the um, it's the main, yeah, the main one in charge. But we kind gonna of. be on a certain level to the point that we won't die no more. Kind you know, we gonna know all things. You know, we ain't gonna sin no more. Cause we gonna be perfect. Cause the, the Lord gonna put the laws in our inner parts. Kind of. You know, and, and you know that we're gonna keep us to live forever, man. Cause we gonna have the laws in us, and we gonna have like I said, like the brother said, we gonna have Yahweh Shah. Dealing with us, man, and you know, through him, we gonna, you know, we gonna be doing Abarat is out. We gonna be doing marvelous works in that day, healing, hell, killing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot in that day. Children being delivered, like just, you know, just imagine yourself having spiritual power. You know, you love children. Just delivering the children that the Lord put in your mind to deliver. God, that and, one, of, you know, it's lucky. That no, one of the main things, you know. Brother talk about spiritual power, man, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, we want to, you know, describe any, but the Lord also going to give us that spiritual power, you know, to heal, too. To heal and help, man. Like, how we been, you know, back in the ancient times, during huh. the time of the disciples, man, they had the power, you know, they were healing the blind, the sick, the leprosy, the lepers, the, you know, the lame, you know, the ones who, you know, uh, you know, the ones who, who believe on the Lord, man, the prophets set it up that they heal them, man. So we're going to do, we are going to be healing a lot of, a lot of people, man. Come but on. to our enemies, the ones that rejecting the truth, man, we're going to destroy them. Destroy them. That's right. Um, the Lord said we're going to do greater works than the Lord did so much work. They said that the books couldn't even contain it, man. That's right. You know, walking on water, turning water to you know, wine, 
re disappearing, reappearing, changing up his face, you know, on uh, uh, healing the healing the blind, raising up the dead, walking on water, calming the wind. And there's so much stuff that the Lord did. I mean, feeding a multitude of, of people with five fishes and, you know, you know, like probably like seven loaves of bread. And the Lord did a lot of miracles and they didn't believe on the Lord, but the lake did. But that ain't going to be any time. And the Lord going to have that, give the man that power, man. You're going to still have two thirds of the people out here still not knowing what's going on. They ain't know it's it going to be the miracles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're they going to think it's right. Satan. It do. It is gonna look like Satan or not, cause when the Lord raises men up, it's especially unnatural to yeah, them. Yeah, especially if like they they're doing damage, like they like out there, you know, destroying a lot of stuff. They're gonna look at it as a uh, evil thing. Uh -huh. But but they gonna also look see the part when brothers doing the healing and stuff. They are also gonna bring a lot on men. Come on, that's right. Um, I'm gonna get the business. So. This is wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 3, I'm going to start at verse 3. And they're going from us to be up to us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Verse 4, for though they be punished in the sight of men, talking about um, the elect, mm -hmm. you know how a lot of men, you know, put the, um, the, the teachers that, you know, the prophets that's prophesying these things, really, you know, the scoffers and the scorners trying to put these men down for trying to warn the people. Yet is their hope full of immortality. Verse five, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. So, hey, any chastisement, man, just be happy with that shit. No matter, no matter what you go through, it can, it can be the worst shit that you could ever go through. Just deal with that. Shit. Just deal. You, you, you gotta uh, endure it. Man. Con, you got you to. Know, even though you know, you, you know, it might be like how the brother said, so you gotta you know just take it cheerfully. You know, even though it's gonna be hard because you're gonna yeah. be vexed, but you know, you gotta just en endure it, man. And, yeah, and, yeah. and ultimately, man, we really gonna be cheerful when the Lord, you know, raises us up, man, and Con. deliver us. Um, continuing on for Yahweh proved them and found them worthy for himself. That's how you know it's about the Lord, man. You got to please the Lord at the end of the day. It's not, you know, not really pleasing man because the man can't save you. The word and Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, that's can, that can save you because by you listening to the word, you taking heed unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, even though the Lord set up certain men, yeah, man, con. but they they coming in the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Exactly. Because them men, you know, they got to, every man got to work out their own salvation. Con. You know, we just praying that the Lord use us as his vessel, you know, to, 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 to speak his word and hopefully we have that reward, like the brother saying, you know, to get the immortality. That's you right. Know, be delivered. Um, verse 6. As gold in the furnace... Have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering? Verse seven. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine. Basically, that, that glow, that spiritual glow. Mm -hmm. And run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. And um, I know it was an old video I seen a while back. I know one of the apostles did it. I think it was Apostle Rob Lam, if I'm you know mistaken, Salakia. But it was about um how the angels move in Ezekiel the first chapter. He was really breaking down Ezekiel the first chapter, how they just move like how how bison move, how you just levitate and just go like just straight forward, like either up, down, side to side type motion. Like not really moving, like using their hips and Nah, we gotta right now move our hills. Moving. Yeah, it's just moving. Like just like like a um a good example, like the animation cartoon. Con. One of the main ones would be like um Dragon Ball Z, how they had that glow. Mm -hmm. And when they fly, you know, they move so fast they they just left they like they they the trails change, yeah, they something. trail behind. They got a chair moving. You see a chair, you see it fly by so quick, you just see the trail, yeah. and next you know it just, it just disappear. Con. How we gonna be mm -hmm. we gonna be, you know, Flying, you know, running to and fro like sparks, man. Like we're gonna be like, you know, you've seen the spark on on fire, man. They jump, 
Just yeah, leave all that over. For. That ain't going to be kind. Um, all right, verse 8. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And their Lord shall reign forever. Yeah, I was shy. Okay. So the Lord said we're going to judge the nation, man. So when they say that all that about the Lord, care for everybody and love everybody. But right there in that scripture, man, saying that it's going to be another nation judging other nations, man. And we're going to have dominion over them, over the other nations. So it don't sound like the Lord coming back to bring love to everybody, man. He's only going to bring love and salvation and rulership to the nation of Israel, man, starting off with the elect, man. I say you can end it out with X. Um, one verse. Let me get the last scripture. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Um, let's see X. Oh, you have one. Hold on, so like you have one though. Nah, I mean, we can close it up. This is um uh, X one and four being assembled together with them. Uh, and command them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which which say he, watch say he, you have, which say he, you ha you heard of me, for John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. So this year I was shout talking to the you know disciples about how you know the wait on the promise man, wait on him to you know to be delivered, you know yeah it's like a year to return. You know, and he say, um, you know, we heard, you know, baptized, you know, that proved that when the water, you know, you're not going to be baptized by the water and be saved or think you're going to get the truth, man. You got to be baptized by the Holy Spirit, I mean, renewing your mind God. and coming back into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Yep. That the Holy Spirit. The man. word. The word. The word of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And uh, many days hence, verse 6. When they, when they therefore will come together, they ask of him, saying, Lord, without this time. Well, without at this time restored again the kingdom of Israel, and and that right there, like I said, let you know, or like the brother was saying, let you know that even back then they were looking for um uh -huh. Israel to you know come back in rulership, and this was the time of Acts, and the thing about it, we living in the times of Acts right now, you know, rather yeah. yeah, rather people believe it or not, but yeah, even like I said, man, even now you know the prophets, the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. Uh, that's I think that's in First Corinthians fourteen oh. thirty two. I just had you know seen that one, but yeah, man, just the prophets, like they come in they same light. Reincarnation is real. The same prophets that wanted the kingdom to come then and there, same prophets now. Come, the brother said, you know, we're living back in you know like in the times of Acts all over again. Cause you read the books of Acts, you know, the the prophets been doing what they're doing now. You you know, going out doing the ministry, you know, pushing the word. To the you know to the hopeful elect that was back then you know coming in to draw you know coming in to listen to the word and on top of that you know they were doing being prosecuted how you know the prophets being prosecuted now and you know um so like, uh, also in that net and the Lord gave his men that that power too in the time of Acts that was the word that was this, you know the book called Acts man because they were doing mar marvelous works man Con. And if I'm not mistaken, also like the time he was waking up, cause that, cause during that time that was the time they they were waking up Gentiles. Yeah, like if Israelite I'm not mistaken, foreigners. yeah, Israelite foreigners, you know, all around Rome and Galatians, Greece, Greece yeah. and just all yeah. over in the. Yeah, you have, you even had Gentiles East. came from like uh, parts of like North Northern Africa, you know, Asia, Con. India, cause they said in, in one of the books of Acts, you know. So all of them, you know, gathering, you know, wondering when the time of the kingdom was going to come, man. That's right. But this is what the Lord said unto him. He said, um, verse 7, Acts verse 1, I mean, Acts chapter 1, verse 7. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the season which the Father had put in his own power. And, um, you know, that right there, sir, you can't put no time or no date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. It was a while back that it was a, you know, certain person that used to do that and i you know that was all that's all if you're not supposed to put a time or a date on the lord on the lord just you know be patient and keep praying and meditate that the lord do come you know quicker than what he has set up or what his father has set up yahweh you know mm -hmm. Con, you got you had a lot of people you so many christians talking about something the lord put them like a couple of months ago when they were saying the lord supposed to come back like on september the 23rd yeah shit like that you know, putting a date on the lord but the scripture i have saying that you know 
is not in our power to know the time, you know, of the season, man. But we got to, you know, wait. Con. Because the Lord is the one that got the power. Con. Uh, start back up at verse 7. Acts 1, verse 7. He said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the season, which the Father had put in his own power, but you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know the Lord said, you know, we're gonna receive that power, man, that time, man. You know, we receive it back then, and we're receiving it now, man. Cause the Lord said the uttermost, the uttermost part of the earth, and that represent, you know, America, man. And you know, and the Lord say, um. You know, we're gonna receive it. We already got it—a small amount of, you know, spiritual power by knowing this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Right. That why majority of the world ain't gonna be able to get it, man. Cause the Lord right. doing dealing with a few. You know, we just went to the uh, point that the Lord we keep enduring that the Lord does with that physical spiritual power, man. That we're gonna be able to do miracles. You know, and, and, you know, like the like we've been going into, man, flying, you know. You know, fighting against our enemies, you know, shooting lasers out of our eyes or man, just reappearing and disappearing, <sighs> you know, running at top speed. But we really got that, that power now. But the Lord got he gonna increase it, man. Con. And with that, uh, I hope this, you know, video, this lesson was edifying. Con. That I wanna um you know, give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the um elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And double shot of wand to the Akim across the four winds of the earth that's preaching this truth and righteousness and sincerity. Hey, shot of wand, man. Shot of wand.